please remain standing. Gentlemen, remove your caps for the playing of our national anthem. Good evening, my name is Winifred Kennedy and I am the president of the class of 2016. I will be attending Providence College in the fall in majoring in history. I would like to start by welcoming Dr. Cummings, members of the school committee, Mr. Pignataro, Mr. Kelly, Mrs. Evers, faculty members, honored guests, family, friends, and of course, the class of 2016 to this year's graduation ceremony. The mission statement of Grafton High School is to prepare all students to be lifelong learners and responsible citizens. We have heard this mantra countless times throughout our four years here. On our very first day at GHS, we sat in the brand new state-of-the-art auditorium as gawky, awkward freshmen with oversized forest green shirts that branded us as the first to roam the halls. Mr. Pignataro stood before us and spoke for the very first time, and in the midst of our newfound excitement starting the chapter we had all anxiously awaited, the mission statement was completely lost, soaring right over our heads. I did not realize it then, but the Grafton High School mission statement would hold true and prevalent for the next four years of my life in many ways other than just academically. Over the course of freshman year, I think I speak for all of us in saying that we learned more than we ever imagined, and I'm not just talking about Mr. Cody's honors bio class. We learned what high school was like and all that it entailed, both socially and academically. We gained friends and we lost friends. We failed tests and we triumphed. If we were to never experience failure, our lives would be meaningless. We learned that nobody really cares whether or not you're at the party and that it is far better to be kind than it is to be anything else. Over the course of our freshman year, whether we realized it or not, we learned. As the years trickled on, we continued to learn together. Sophomore year, we learned that the We Will Crush You shirt probably wasn't the best decision, although the class of 2016 has still proven to be my orange crush. We learned that the reputation that we created for ourselves here mattered, and that our time spent here would never be wasted. Junior year, we learned that our efforts drastically impacted our future, as we all pushed ourselves harder than we had ever been pushed, and became each other's best coaches when we needed one the most. Lastly, senior year, we all learned that sometimes the future we planned for ourselves years ago may not be as fitting for us now as it once was. We learned that sometimes in life you may not end up where you thought you were going to go, but we let our minds rest on the thought that we will always end up where we are meant to be. As our years at Grafton High School are coming to a close, we know that in GHS we will always have a home. No matter year, where the years may take us or how far apart we may be, this is a common background that we will always share. No matter where we go or what we choose to do, we will always be a part of the Grafton High School graduating class of 2016. Our days left together have ended, and seated up on the stage is the last time we will ever be together as a class. No happenstance encounter or class reunion will ever draw this class back together again in its entirety. I will take this time to turn to my class. It is the last time I will ever address you all at once and say the one thing that I have been dying to say for the past 13 years of my life. Thank you. Thank you for all of the experiences, good and bad. Thank you for the years of failure and the years of triumph, the years of awkward and the years of moderately less awkward. Thank you for teaching me lessons that I didn't realize that I was learning until I was finished learning them. 
The mission statement of Grafton High School is to prepare all students to be lifelong learners and responsible citizens. I have had phenomenal teachers over the course of my educational career and over 200 very unique and impactful ones, my peers. Through our time at Grafton High School, we grew, we overcame hardships, and most importantly, we learned. I am not ready to say goodbye to you, but I don't know if I would ever be. I love you, class of 2016. I wish you all nothing but the best in all of your future endeavors, and I hope you spend the rest of your lives continuing to learn and continuing to teach those who are lucky enough to surround you. It has been an honor and it has been a pleasure to serve as your class president this year. Thank you. Good evening. My name is Max Cruz and I'm the valedictorian of the class of 2016. I will be attending Northeastern University in the fall and majoring in computer science. I would like to start by welcoming Dr. Cummings, members of the school committee, Mr. Pignataro, Mr. Kelly, Mrs. Evers, faculty members, honored guests, family, friends, and of course the class of 2016 to this year's graduation ceremony. I'm not much of a public speaker, so I hope to be brief, and if it seems like I'm uncomfortable up here, it's because I am. <laughs> I'd like to share a story that's surely been passed throughout the halls of GHS a few dozen times in the past three years. Three years ago, when I was just a freshman, I ate an outrageously loaded nacho at lunch. I'm talking cheese, salsa, meat, beans, you name it. I knew this nacho meant business, but I really had no idea what I was getting into. Only a few chews in, a large shard of the chip became lodged in my trachea. <clears throat> I panicked, unable to breathe or even make a sound, and started to shove two fingers down my throat in order to, in an attempt to dig it out. I looked quite silly, to say the least. All of my peers initially just sort of pointed and laughed, and I certainly don't blame them for doing so, until my buddy Nathan Margosian, Eagle Scout, <laughs> recognized I was seriously choking on this monstrous nacho. Nathan called over Mr. Pignataro, shout out to Jim Pig, who gave me the Heimlich in front of the entire silent cafeteria. Yeah. I'd like to think I would have been fine, but Mr. Pignataro arguably saved my life. My initial reactions to the incident were, man, that was humiliating, and imagine the, de the embarrassment of death by nacho. But in reality, it made me think of the unpredictability of life. No one knows when his time here on this earth is over, so he may as well make the most of it. So as I leave GHS behind, I'd like to ask all of my classmates to make the most of what's to come. Whatever opportunity you encounter in the course of your future, big or small, take it. Four years ago, I never would have imagined myself standing up here before a crowd of this size. But here I am. Eliminate the possibility of regret, and remember, there's more to life than high school. I truly believe each and every one of you, as harsh as it may sound, will encounter your nacho. <laughs> so I hope you at least savor all the flavor it has to offer, offer before that final swallow. And with that, I'd like to give one huge last congratulations to the graduating class of 2016, especially to my buddy Frankie Hernandez. <laughs> Good luck in the future, stay humble and keep it real. Thank you. And now I'd like to introduce Leah Kidd, who will play What a Wonderful World by Louis Armstrong. Um, this performance is dedicated to my parents because without them, I would not have been here. 
physically and, you know, literally and all that. <laughs> and the second thing I want to say is, um, can you guys not sing with me this time? Thank you. Okay. Good evening. My name is Molly Dewar, and I am president of Best Buddies and, pres and vice president of our student council. I will be attending Bridgewater State University in the fall and majoring in criminal justice. I would like to start by welcoming Dr. Cummings, members of the school committee, Mr. Pignataro, Mr. Kelly, Ms. Evers, faculty members, honored guests, families, friends, and of course, the class of 2016, to this year's graduation ceremony. Thank you all for supporting us over the past four years. We wouldn't be here without each and every one of you. I'd first like to congratulate my classmates for getting to this point. We did it. We are finally graduating. Soon we will be walking across this very stage to be handed our diplomas, merely a piece of paper representing the past four years of our lives. This is the first major milestone we will achieve before venturing off into the real world. Although we all differ in many ways, one thing we all have in common is that we are all facing the same unknown. What will our future bring? There's a quote, great things come from small beginnings. If this is what you call a small beginning, then boy, do we have a lot to look forward to. After we graduate, some of us will go to college, some will join the military, and others will go directly into the workforce. Whatever we do and wherever we go is in our hands. This might sound like a lot of pressure, but look at all the things we have already accomplished here at Grafton High School. Football Super Bowl champs, top 10 award in student council, amazing theater productions, multiple, multiple Swickle championship wins, and of course the fact that we dominated in class competitions during homecoming week. I could keep talking about how amazing our school and how amazing our class is, and name every little thing we have accomplished over the past four years together, but the list would be endless. The point is, High school is just one of the many highlights in our lives. We still have so much to look forward to and so much we are capable of. Grafton High School was fortunate enough to have motivational speaker Mike Smith come in to speak to our school this year. 
He brought up a lot of important points while he was here, but one thing he really stressed was the importance of leaving behind a legacy. After today, we will begin the pursuit in our own communities to leave that legacy behind. So classmates, what will our future bring? How are you going to make your mark and leave your legacy behind? What do you want to be remembered for? Although we are not all the best of friends, we do know each other's faces, and we will remember all the embarrassing moments, success stories, funny moments, sad moments, failures, and so much more. When we leave here, we will be saying goodbye to a lot, of good, a lot of great people and a lot of great memories. Years from now, we will look back and reflect, and some of us, while thinking about others, will remember the musician, always eager for a lead role or to try a new instrument. The student who always made an effort to smile, wave, and say hello to every other student they passed on their way to class. The star athlete, who, we, who the team could always count on to lead them to victory. The quiet kid, who may have sat alone at lunch, but come to find out was extremely sweet and intelligent. And the students who found their high school years to be challenging. But this is high school. This is just the beginning. When we leave, I hope that everyone will take a moment to think, what do you want your legacy to be in the next chapter of your life? Will you be remembered for the kindness you shared, the things you accomplished, the places you went, or the people you met? Keep this in mind as you journey off into the next phase of your life. Thank you all for the best four years of my life. I wish you all the best, and I can't wait to hear about the legacy and mark you leave in this world. I would now like to introduce Chelsea Duranian, Amelia Murray, and Danielle Pratt, who will be performing Landslide by Stevie Nicks. Hi, um, we would just like to say a few, a little something before I start. Um, so my mom always says that Landslide is the theme song to her life. So this song is dedicated to my mom. Love you. And to my dad. You're up there. Thank you. 
took it down I climbed the mountain and I turned around And if you see my reflection in the snow-covered hills With a landslide bring you down And if you see my reflection Let's give another hand to the girls. Good evening. I'd like to welcome Dr. Cummings, members of the school committee, honored guests, parents, guardians, family, faculty, staff, and most importantly, the class of 2016. It is always great to see so many Grafton High School alumni at graduation. We are honored that you are part of our ceremony tonight. I'd like to see all the Grafton High School alumni please stand to be recognized. <laughs> Students in the class of 2016, although this is your night, I'd like to thank and recognize other members of the Grafton community that have helped you along the way. Mrs. Scheinbart, Mrs. Marlette, Mrs. Moen, Mrs. Harris, thank you for all your help in organizing Senior Awards Night and graduation. Your professionalism and attention to details has made this year's senior activities very successful. Your senior class officers, Mrs. Kalandra, Mrs. Sankowski, thank you both for all of your time and effort that you've put in on behalf of the senior class. Our assistant principals, Mr. Kelly and Mrs. Evers, thank you for your assistance in working not only with the class of 2016, but with all the students at Grafton High School. All faculty and staff of the Grafton Public Schools, including central office personnel, please stand to be recognized. All faculty and staff. Thank you for all the hours and hard work that you've devoted to our graduates. Parents and guardians of the class of 2016, please stand to be recognized. Thank you for your guidance and support of your son or daughter. Earlier this evening, Molly Dewar spoke about Mike Smith coming to our school and he asked the following questions. What is your legacy and how do you want to be remembered? Whether you realize it or not, many of you have already established a legacy here at Grafton High School that goes far beyond being the first class to attend our new school for four years. Perhaps your legacy relates to your academic achievement. Over the past two weeks, many students in this class received numerous scholarships. By the way, thank you to the community for donating over $70,000 to our students. Those involved in the process remarked how difficult it was to choose award recipients because there were so many outstanding applicants. Your hard work in classes has had a positive impact on your future success. Your legacy might be your talent in our theater program or on the playing field. This year our students continued the excellence 
of our theater program with their performances in the fall play, Arsenic and Old Lace, and spring musical, Aida. Students also showcased their, showcased their talents in Rockstock and Open Mic Night. Our athletic teams in each of the seasons accomplished either league or district titles. Student athletes worked together to reach a common goal, whether it was individual records or a team championship, and wish the best of luck to our teams currently in district play. Perhaps your legacy is, involved, is your involvement in various clubs and organizations. One of the strengths of Grafton High School, and especially of this class, is the dedication of students in developing programs that are inclusive for all students. The unified sports program, along with Best Buddies, has not only grown in numbers, but has grown in developing an awareness, and more importantly, a belief that all students can succeed at a high level and participate in any club or activity we have at the school. Students in this class have organized community efforts that have helped those in need. The Pine Street Inn in Boston benefited by having our students donate 2,700 pairs of socks. The Grafton Food Bank received 1,300 food items. $3,000 was divided up and given to the Claudette Lorden and Diane Blessing scholarships, along with No Stomach for Cancer and Sherry's House. Our student council received recognition for their efforts in raising funds and awareness for Alzheimer's research. Perhaps your legacy is your involvement in activities outside of school, at your job, civic organizations, at church, or helping out your family, and especially those seniors in this class that have lost a parent or sibling. These are just a few examples of the outstanding efforts of how you have helped those in need and established a legacy. However, this is just the beginning. As you leave Grafton High School, you will continue to establish your legacy one that will evolve over many years. Some of you will leave a legacy as you enter the military. The dedication and pride that each of you have for not only our country, but also your desire to give back and help protect our nation is an outstanding act of bravery. We wish you a safe journey, and we look forward to seeing you back in Grafton. Some of you will leave a legacy in the workforce or on college campuses. Whether you're working or studying full-time, you are building your legacy through your work ethic and the people that you meet. Wherever life takes you, know that you are building your legacy through the seemingly little things that you do on an everyday basis. The following quote by Nelson Mandela, a man who was in prison for 27 years as he continued to fight against apartheid in South Africa, I believe represents what a le legacy is built upon. What counts in life is not the mere fact that we have lived. It is the difference we have made to the lives of others that will determine the, the significance of the life that we lead. As you leave here, please keep in mind that all of you have made a difference, whether it be publicly or privately. Working as individuals and ultimately as a class, you have accomplished great things in your time at Grafton High School. I know that you will continue to do so in whatever path that you choose after you leave here tonight. Class of 2016, I wish you the very best of health, happiness, and success. It's been my privilege to serve as your principal for the past four years. Thank you very much. At this time, I'd like to call Dr. Cummings and Mrs. Often and chairperson of the school committee to the stage. Dr. Cummings, members of the school committee, and all those in attendance, it is my duty and privilege to certify that all these young men and women gathered here this evening have successfully completed the Grafton High School course of studies, and they have completed all requirements established by, established by the State Board of Education and the Commonwealth of Massachusetts. And they should hereby be awarded their Grafton High School diploma so that they may assume their role as courageous, capable, caring, and active contributors to the world in which they live. Class of 2016, congratulations.
Winifred Page Kennedy. Timothy Joseph Gilgallen. Isabel Mary Caritzi. <laughs> Isabel's grandfather, Art Parlin, former member of the school committee, will present her diploma. <laughs> Lindsay May Sautel. <laughs> Maxwell Thomas Cruz. Rachel Marie Lynch. Christopher Brian Rybicki. Yusuf Karem Cesar. Molly Kate Dewar. Leah Raquel Kidd. <laughs> Chelsea Hannah Duranian. <laughs> Amelia Ann Murray. <laughs> Danielle Teresa Pratt. Ryan Matthew Adams. Megan Sophie Alex. Leah Rachel Allen. Matthew Stephen Amarin. Sarah Marie Amarin. Lauren Margaret Anderson. Jenna Elise Arbogast. Hannah Patricia Babb. Kayla Ann Bacon. Vishal Singh Bajwa. Bradley William Baldwin. Jack Christopher Baldwin. Simon Bradley Barber. Timothy Bryant Barlar. Deepak Singh Betty. Michael Laurent Belleville. Dimitri Joseph Berardi. Joshua Scott Birdsall. Vincent Evan Norman Boyardi.
Colleen Arlena Bover. Kaylee Olivia Bowen. Taylor May Boyd. Colin Andrew Brosnahan. Benjamin Francis Cadron. Bianca Lynn Carangelo. Cheyenne Elizabeth Carden. Jacqueline Louisa Carolino. Jessica Lynn Carolino. Nicole Kimberly Carolino. <laughs> Kayla Marie Catalano. <laughs> Jason Suwanhi Chansavanso. <laughs> Emily Dara Christian. Cameron Jacob Kernoyer. Jillian Elise Crowley. Claudia Isabel Cuevas. Megan Catherine Cusack. Andrew Michael D'Angelo. Margaret Mary Dauphiné. Presenting Margaret's diploma is Craig Dauphiné, a member of the Board of Selectmen. Olivia Grace DeFreitas. Jamie Ann Derry. Aiden Patrick Disjardins. Angel Rafael Diaz. Gianna Brielle DePinto. Michaela Marie Dunin. Liam James Driscoll. Thomas Jefferson Dumphy. Amanda Tuet Young. Kristen Teresa Durand. Owen Scott Edwards.
Hello, my name is Tim Gilgallen. I am the Vice President of the Class of 2016, and I'll be attending LaSalle College next year, majoring in athletic training. Can you let them sit down first? Yeah, I will. I will. Matthew Ryan Eloso. Allison Kathleen Faisold. Brian McKay Fletcher. Cole Matthew Fontana. Hunter Glenn Frazier. Kristen Emily Gabriel. Brendan Walter Gallagher. Julia Ann Gannon. Kara Nancy Gilgun. Jonathan Richard Juvenucci. Alex Joseph Glickman. Gina Marie Gonzalez. Hunter Douglas Gordon. Jillian Ray Goslin. Christopher Joseph Graham. Shannon Marie Graham. Whitney Simone Grant. Mia Isabel Grimo. Brendan Patrick Charles Grimley. Brianna Lynn Guyette. Nicholas Aaron Hall. Melinda Rose Hamilton. Tyler Gregory Hamilton. Nicholas Cameron Hart. Francisco Albert Hernandez Bonilla. Michael William Holbrook. Benjamin McElroy Houston. Mudamon Huntison.
Aporva Intriganti. <laughs> Ashley Jean Iavino. <laughs> Samantha Rose Jacobson. Tanner Watkins Jelovich. Chase Julian Kapizensky. Mohit Katal. Alexis Ann Kieran. Shauna Jean Kelly. Ashka Sanjay Karidia. Amanda Marie Kim. <laughs> Ashley Ann Kim. <laughs> Sarah Ann Knowlton. <laughs> Jessica Elizabeth Laflamme. Will James Laflamme. Hi, um, my name is Isabel Kritzi, and I was the secretary of our class this year, and I'll be studying at University of Rhode Island, majoring in kinesiology. Alberto Laguna. Maria Teresa Landingham. Rachel Ann Landingham. Matthew Michael Lazaro. Kendall and Leafonte. <laughs> Sophia Christine Lee. <laughs> Stephen Bolton Lettery. <laughs> Austin Robert Lewin. Nathaniel Eric Loon. <laughs> Bang Yang Lin. <laughs> Zachary David Lavorn. <laughs> Lauren Joan Liver. Sean Michael McDonald. Trevor Joseph Makoviak. Catherine Hayes Malloy. Ryan Lawrence Manning. Matthew Joseph Miranda. Yeah. 
Shannon Lee Marchand. Harris Michael Markham. Nathan Andrew Margosian. Alexander Thomas Marquis. Ali Ali Renee Marshall. <laughs> Catherine Elizabeth Mason. <laughs> Nicole Megan Matloff. <laughs> Matthew Timothy McCann. Skylar James McLaughlin. <laughs> Anne Marie Melanson. <laughs> Connor Michael Melican. <laughs> Alan Mendieta Rivadenaita. Joseph Patrick Mercurio. Yeah! Ethan Alden Mills. Cassandra Freeman Moisson. Catherine Francis Moreland. Elizabeth Walker Morgan. <laughs> Raquela Emily Morin. <laughs> Kadrin Prata Masumba. <laughs> Zachary Ramon Munoz. Michael Paul Najami. <laughs> Daniel Wayne Nelson. Dante Marcus Newman. Alden David Nichols. Matthew James O'Brien. Brooke Kathleen O'Neill. <laughs> Taya Marie O'Rourke. <laughs> Laith Zayed O'Day. <laughs> Keegan Samuel Bennett O'Henny. Yane Akello Watara. Anna Rose Paget.
Alexis Julia Palmer. Nicole Madeline Parsons. Colin Alexander Peacock. Michaela Jane Perkins. Sarah Therese Perrin. Alyssa Hope Piet. Audrey Nicole Piet. Bryce Elizabeth Plotkin. Katarina Mary Pratano. Alexandria Gail Richardson. Gabriel Navarre Rivera. Allison Rachel Rivers. Caitlin Jordan Roberts. Teresa Marie Romanis. Brandon Patrick Rooney. Hello, my name is Lindsay Sotel. I'm the treasurer of the class of 2016, and I will be attending the University of Connecticut in the fall to study pharmaceutical sciences. <laughs> Kyle David Roy. <laughs> Catherine Josephine Sanfrontello. Corey Jacob Sarver. Brendan Thomas Scanlon. Liam Patrick Scanlon. Michaela Maria Scorpio. Devin Kuwaku Senya. Leo John Shattuck. John Hunter Sheridan. Natasha Shiku. Peace Oluwasi Jobimi Shibayu. Liesel Whitney Seaman. Leah Gabriel Simulus. Anna Pauline Smith. Bradley Mark Smith. Carly Rose Smith.
Erica Lauren Smith. Michaela Josephine Smith. Nathan John Smith. Taylor Anthony Springob. Alexander James Chicatis. <laughs> Mason Paul Stelmach <laughs> Emily Louise Stratton <laughs> Julia Kelly Sweeney Noelle Margaret Tatsis. Christopher Matthew Texera. Bianca Samo Thomas. Shelby Pamela Turpin. Sarah Doherty Underhill. Woo. Jackson Joseph Vale. Robert Scott Wagner. Colleen Marie Ward. Oh. Sarah Catherine Ward. Oh. Abigail Kelly Webb. Rebecca Shira Weiss. <laughs> Kelly Patricia Wilhide. <laughs> Sydney Marie Wilson. <laughs> Dylan David Woski. Gray Wyatt. <laughs> Lawrence Albert Zwicker the third. Yeah, 